The WBA claims they made a mistake. But Ling is not the mandatory for Canelo. He's the mandatory for Morel. Does that make a difference? No, because Berlinga is still in the running for a Canelo fight. And Berlinga has made it clear he does not want any part of David Morel. And David Morel knows that Berlinga is food for him. He says he knocks out Berlinga in one round. And matchroom king Eddie Hearn knows this. He knows Berlinga is here for a good time, not a long time, meaning he don't want to put Berlinga in any risky fights. And risky fights include David Benavides, David Morrell, and also think Jaime McGee is a very risky fight for Berlinga. You can even throw Christian and Billy in there. And what I've been hearing is Canelo wants to fight Berlinga first in May and then fight Jaime McGee. And I was thinking that Saturday night, how did Berlinga become Canelo's mandatory after beating a pedestrian boxer in Macquarie? But it was just a mistake according to WBA. I think people were starting to complain about that and asking questions, how did Berlinga become a mandatory so quick? And that person probably was Samson Lewis. And Benavides, tremendous fight. And you know, I spoke to Samson Leskovich last night and he said, oh, you know, you said that, um, Canelo's never been offered a fight with Benavidez. I said, no, no. Can Benavidez was never part of the PPC plan that they presented to him. Fact. Canelo fought Bivol at 175, right, which he probably shouldn't have done, and got well beaten. And he's desperate to fight him again. I said, look, if Canelo works with us, we'll make the fight with Benavidez. And he went, yes, no problem, just give us the US TV on Amazon. I'm like, what? Oh, mate, if Canelo comes with us on zone and Dazone are putting up the money for Mungia and Balanga and all these people, Dazone are going to put up the money for Benavides. Oh, oh, what, what? Mate, you're a challenger. Do you want to fight the king? I think Benavides has one more fight with the PBC. I'm not sure, but I think this fight coming up will fulfill the three-fight deal they have with the PBC. And how Eddie Hearn is talking, Canelo has not officially signed with the zone. Not just yet. I think David Benavides needs a new promoter. He's the one messing up Benavides' opportunities. And by the way, did you hear what Eddie Hearn said? He said Benavides was not part of the three fight deal. So it's not just Dan Raphael saying this, it's Eddie Hearn confirming it too. Eddie Hearn said he told Samson, if Canelo signs with him, he will make the Benavides fight. But this dude wants US TV rights for Amazon. When the zone's putting up all the money and making the fight. So the problem is not Canelo not making the fight. It's going to be on David Benavides' side why the fight is not being made. When you're fighting the king and you're trying to be a king, you got to go by the king's rules. David Benavides is a challenger. What Samson does not realize, Canelo is the A side. And if this fight takes place, Canelo is going to A-side David Benavides to death. And if this fight takes place in September, David Benavides really doesn't have any leverage. He doesn't have any belts. He's not a big draw. He will be lucky if Canelo does not pick his trunks out for him. So for Samson to say he wants US TV rights for Amazon is crazy. I think at the end of the day, David Benavides is going to have to leave Samson and the PBC to get this Canelo fight. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.